You know, I'm just realizing that my TV... I need to change the aspect ratio on this TV. Because some of the stuff's being cut off. Mary Beth. So, we getting out of this hellhole? We're gonna try. Weather seems stable. And we just robbed the Leviticus Cornwall train. We got money in our pockets. The worst is behind us, gentlemen. So the question uh, is, where now? I know this country a little. I told you, we should set up camp in Horseshoe Overlook near Valentine. We'll be able to hide out there no problem, as long as we keep our noses clean. <laughs> well then, let's go. Clean noses and everything else. Arthur, Poor John. on that one. Bring Hosea. I know you two like to talk about the good old days and what's gone wrong with old <laughs> Do you get to drive a cart now? <laughs> nice music. Violet, thank you for subscribing. Uh, two months in a row. You're my first two month subscriber, I think. What's up, by the way, Violet? This music's so. Hmm. So, is this finally where we're gonna get to explore the open world? I hope. Micah, get over here! Yes, boss. You two ride up ahead, make sure there's no surprises. We've had enough of those. Me? With the boy? Just go. Come on, kid. You can buy me a whiskey. <laughs> so we were being chased by the police before winter. <laughs> so... Hey, we get to drive the cart. Okay. Well, we're gonna go cinematic camera, I guess. Yo, go quicker, horsies. Match. Okay, that kind of sucked. This is pretty. This is very westerny. Oh god, we're going the wrong way. I'm sorry. Come on, horses. That was supposed to happen, right? Let's take a look. I think. Whoops. Right Everything look all right. <laughs> uh. What's going on? I think that's supposed Open to happen. Damn wheel. All right. Let's get it fixed. You need help? I reckon we can handle it. All right, Charles. You and me hold the thing up while you try and put the wheel back on, Arthur. Right? You still strong enough to hold up a wing? Shut <laughs> up. I'm just saying. Don't say less. Uh. That's all that holds on the wheel? Oh my gosh, no wonder it broke. I'm assuming that was supposed to happen. It just kind of was kind of hilarious how it happened right as I was going off and then mashing A. Not quite. Think. What do you think? If they wanted trouble, Ooh. we wouldn't have seen them. Poor bastards. We really screwed them over down here. Twitch is freezing on the iPad. Oh no! What happened? Well, get in. I'll tell you. It seems to be okay on my phone. Yeah, it's not lagging on my phone. Uh, hold up. I can go here. Yo, shut up. Let's double check. Let's double check uh my Twitch. Uh, dashboard, and let me double check that they're... Yeah, it looks like our bitrate's been fine. We're going on the inspector real quick. So no, I've not had any dropouts yet, so it's not on my end. For once. I say for once. 
Okay. Good, 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 good. All right, let's get back. What were we doing? Get back on the wagon. Okay. You couldn't have done that. Not too far now. Stay on this trail. We'll follow the river, then cut left. Inland. You can switch between different radar sizes and compasses by holding down. Show. Yes. Uh, expanded goes really big. Compass goes really small. So this is like if you want to go truly like go first person with the compass, and that feels really good. Let's just do regular. In fact, you just turn it off. The Indians in these parts got sold a very raw deal. What is the, is uh, the camera again? To. Good farming and grazing country. They lost it all. There we go. Stolen clean away from them. It was every blade of grass. Killed or herded up to the reservations in the middle of nowhere. Can I go hunt the bunnies? Different from anywhere else. Well, maybe it's not. Hontorius Maximus, what is up? Good stuff on the Civ videos. Thank you, dude. I appreciate it. Violet's watching okay on the phone, too. Okay, good. We don't. In spite of just talk. I fear I was perhaps trying to simplify something more complicated for the benefit of our block-headed driver here. Hey, don't blame it on me. Can we? Never forget. This here's strawberry. Charles okay. Morning bread. Just because it sounds fancy, don't mean he knows a damn. So I think we're about to get the about. open world wide open here. Like I think it's about to open up for us finally. So, Dude, that's so pretty. That I don't even know if I have one. At least not that I can remember. My father was a colored man. He told me he lived with our people for a while. Like, look at the fog. Dang. When we were forced to move from our lands, the three of us fled. Can we make this go faster? Really nope. Much. Oh, life I've been on the run. A couple years later, some soldiers captured my mother. Took her somewhere. We never saw her again. We drifted around. Yay, it's working on iPad. Good. Very sad man and the drink had a mean Doing good, just trying to figure out deity and Civ not going good at all. <laughs> I just took off on my own. Uh oh. That was about the age we found young Arthur here. Maybe a little old. Okay, so to avoid being hot, make sure you wear proper clothes. A wilder delinquent you never did see. But uh, fast. Not as fast as Marston, apparently. Wait. Wait. I don't understand. Oh, I can't change clothes yet, What's I don't think. Between you two? Arthur? Yeah, it's a long story. So, any... Ad so, advice I have on Deity, just going into Civ real quick. Um, like focus on one thing like that was the one thing that really helped me and I, I tell people this all the time so you might have heard this but like one of the things that really hit me is like hey if I'm doing a science victory I need to focus purely on science and not worry so much about culture I'm um, usually almost always want production so um, like if you're doing science victory go science and production that's kind of your thing you could also type in the seed I had from my Mongolia game and you can get an absolutely overpowered start which is absolutely hilarious so that helps as well um, but you know uh, first turn as soon as you meet someone make sure you send your uh, envoy to them or your um, embassy or whatever it's called I think it's the envoys uh, but you have to do that like the first turn you meet them or else they'll hate you and then they'll probably declare war on you um, and getting them early trade routes uh, sending them amenities and stuff like that's great to keep them from declaring early wars but anyways that depends are we still heading west in search of fortune and yeah repose in virgin forests as we plan no. Are we heading in the correct direction on our desperate escape from the law eastwards down the mountains? Yes, I believe so. <laughs> Do you know this area? A little. I've been through a couple of times. There's a livestock town not too far from here called Valentine. Cowboys, wow. outlaws, working girls, our kind of place. Driscoll's? Probably them too. Pinkertons? Let's hope not. And this place oh. we're going. Wait, well, what's it called again? Whoopsie. Horseshoe Overlook. It's a good place to lie low. It'll do for now. And how low do you think Dutch is really going to lie? I was looking at the terrain. It's, just, it's pretty. You know, maybe it's me who's changed, not him, but we kept telling him that ferry job didn't feel right. You and me had a real lead in Blackwater that could have worked out. Maybe. Oh, no problem. Isn't I enjoy helping people, so I don't mind talking about stuff. Things go wrong sometimes. People die. Whoa. This rock formation's cool. Me, you, Dutch. 
We've all been in this line of work a long time, and we're still here, so well, I figure we must have got it right a hell of a lot more than we got it right. Definitely one of the prettiest games I've ever seen. Definitely. Uh, where are you going? <laughs> what? <laughs> There, anyway, just some yarrow and ginseng. Good for the health. Better the still is hitting hard. <laughs> yeah. Yes. You can have all this. I'm at the point where I can do it with my eyes closed. Oh, okay. Thank you. In my defense, you acquired herbs. Yep. They can be consumed to replenish your cores using cooking or crafting items. In my defense, I was so uh, distracted by how freaking pretty the environment was. So. Pick them to learn about their properties. All right, so it's like the horses. Most of us here are Civs fan. Yeah, yeah, there's that too. Uh, hold for details. Are you actually gonna give me details? Every time we do this, it doesn't give me details. American ginseng shrubs can be identified by the large prime uh, palmate leaves, smooth stems, and small clusters of red berries. Clusters of berries are smaller than the clusters found in Alaskan. So this just seems like history, like legit stuff, which I could care less about. Tell me why I need to know this. All right, can we move this horse a little faster, please? There we go. Man, we fell way behind everyone else. I really, oh, is that a pig? What is that? It's too short for a deer. I want to go hunt it. Like, I might be most excited for fishing and hunting in this game, which is hilarious, because that's not my thing in the world. Uh, do we know you? Do we know you? Are you one, are you one of the guys we sent forward? Okay. Any trouble getting in here, Javier? Nope. It went well. This is a good spot. Ah, okay. We do know I him. I think this will work for us, Arthur. For now, anyway. I like how you build your camp. I think that's really cool. Here we are, gentlemen. Home sweet home. Woot. Heck of a lot better than the mining. Mostly because there's no snow. I hope so. Gentlemen, we have survived. For now. Now, it is time to prosper. Arthur and I were about to prosper in Blackwater. We were onto something big. Then Micah got you all excited about that ferry, and here we are. We have all made mistakes over the years, Jose. Every last one of us. But I kept us together. Kept us alive. Kept the nooses off our neck. I guess I'm just worried. Except the people that you let die. I, I want folks safe before I go. Me too. And now we are stuck east of the Grizzlies and out of money and a long way from our dream of virgin land in the West. I know, my brother, but we are safe. We make a bit of money here, then we move again, head out around them, be west of Uncle Sam, in a few months, buy some land. I hope so. <laughs> Would you just look around you? This world has its consolations. <laughs> Gentlemen, I'm going to head into the local town and, uh, you know, see if I can strike up a little business. Of course, Herr Strauss. I prefer robbing banks to usury. <laughs> Seems more dignified somehow. Now, everyone, put your tools down for a moment. Come on, gather around. Quickly now. I know that things have been tough. But we are safe now, and we are far too poor. So it is time. I just robbed a train. Come on. To get to work. Get to work, but stay out of trouble. Remember, we are itinerant workers. Laid off when they shut down our factory to the north. Now get out there and see what you can find. Uncle, Reverend Swanson, no more passengers. <laughs> <laughs> it is time for everyone to earn their keep. There is a town a little way down the track named of Valentine. Livestock town, all mud and morons, if I remember right. That seems a decent place to start. And, uh, we need food. 
Real food. That means every day. One of you. And remember, whatever it is that you find, the camp gets its Donate slice. money valuables to camp to upgrade ammo and other camp supplies. Okay. Now the girls have your tent ready, Mr. Morgan. Come with me. Sweet. You two will be ready shortly. We put you over. Okay, uh, so we're on the run because we are a bunch of bandits. They didn't really go into too much depth about it, but we're just like a group of outlaws. We're a gang, and like uh, the world is becoming more civilized, or the United States is becoming more civilized, and we're like the anti-civilization. So probably because we robbed banks and did a bunch of stuff like that, uh, the law has been chasing us. And so the game started with us running basically into a snowstorm into the mountains to get away from the law, uh, and then we were there like all winter and now it's like springtime basically so that's kind of what's going on um they really didn't give a whole lot of story yet it's just more just kind of like introducing characters and stuff like that we're here i'm sure everything will be fine miss grimshaw it should be most of your stuff from blackwater got saved yeah everything outcast misfits of the world oh don't remind me well, the train robbing was like the last mission so miss jackson i've seen shit sleep shave or change clothes at your tent Ooh. So apparently, you have to like bathe your horse. If you don't bathe your horse, your horse takes a debuff, which is hilariously awesome. Hey, chapter two. Okay. Horseshoe Outlook. Overlook. I want to get to civilization. I really want to see what civilization looks like in this game. Because the wilderness looks amazing. Couple weeks later. Dot, dot, dot. Achievement. Back in the mud. Got off the mountain and rode east into some pretty enough country called the Heartlands. Ain't been this far east in many a year. Ohio? Dutch seems a little better. His eyes are sparkling once more, and I can see he's thinking a little clearer. I think we all feel a little happier, in spite of black water and that whole mess. We don't know what happened in Blackwater. There was also something with a fairy robbing that we keep talking about. We, we never know exactly what happened yet. Eat, drink, Monday. rest, and maintain your cores. Let's hope so. There's a bunch of the boys already in Valentine. Bill, Charles, and Javier. And Javier. Swanson found something down at the train station by the lake, apparently. And Strauss came back with that creepy little smile on his face. I'm sure there's a whole list of unfortunates he's forced money upon. <laughs> Dude, my beard. Yes. And you? I'm gonna read a book. <laughs> so, I am doing the exact opposite of what Emily won't ever let me do, and that's growing my beard ridiculously large. So, we are definitely not gonna shave our beard. <laughs> so, shave. Now, if we hit, uh, let, let's go to shave. We're not gonna actually shave, but can we make it longer? Trim all facial hair. Oh my gosh, we can do mutton chops. Oh, that's so cool. What? Oh, this is your current length. So we're currently at four. Okay. Yeah, no, we don't wanna do that. You have no pre-made hairs to apply. So we can't do a haircut, apparently. Sure. What about clothing? I think we're too hot, right? And that's the... We can take a look at player and character to see for sure. So temperature is fair. Weight is perfect. Conditions, conditions, conditions. It looks like we have too much weight. I think... I think that's what that means. Your beard's getting long. You can... No, I don't want to maintain. Screw that. Who is this? Hi. Uh, Flip? Uh, Reed? Be Beatrice Morgan. I'm Arthur Morgan. So is that my mom or my wife or something? So examine that, whatever. Examine this photograph. That looks more like a wife. Flip. Flip? Doesn't say. Okay. Flower. I wonder if that just grows over time. I wonder if you can plant different flowers. I don't know. 
Uh, sleep, inspect, sit, bed, examine. I don't really know what's going on here. Bank robbery. Read. Uh, Major T. Uh, J. Belford has been a cashier at the banking house of Lee and Hoyt for a number of years, but nothing prepared for him what transpired last week. It was about 2 o'clock. Three men, strangers to me, one uh, came through the door and walked up the counter. One of them, the eldest of the three, was a fine talker and engaged me in conversation. Suddenly, the largest, a big, sullen young man, banished a firearm and held it to my face. Throw up your hands, the third one said, who appeared to be the boss. Then the two repeated the order with an oath, and the leader said, My fine patriotic friends are going to relieve you of that gold and introduce a few folks to the benefits of civilization. They came around the counter and grabbed some sacks, which contained 5,000 in gold. They didn't man to know where the rest of the money was. I pointed out three sacks contained silver, but it was too bulky for them. They retreated and one warned against sounding alarm. I was never so terrified in my life, Mr. Belford told a reporter. The robbers are reported to have lingered in town, and there are unproven claims that the men traveled to hovels and shanties, and even a home for orphans, and gave a handful of ill-gotten gains to the poor. Those bastards! Giving stuff to the poor? Punks. What's in the back? Uh, yeah. Glycerin healing? Tar soap? That's what I want, man. Can I go buy some of that? Ooh. Zoological. It's a book. Uh. Okay. <laughs> the badger. Oh, <gasps> the skunk. Uh, I don't really care. We're just gonna do that. So it says that we read it. And if you guys want to read it, there you go. You're just gonna have to pause the video. <laughs> Watch it on YouTube and then pause it. Okay. Uh, sleep, sit, bed, RB. I think that's what we just looked at. How do we change clothes, then? Maybe that's just the symbol for my bed. I thought this was going to be uh, clothes, too, but... Probably not. Okay. I came over here because there's ammo, which is what we wanted. We got nice money, man. 206. That might be the whole camp, though. Okay. That music is... Uh, I'm going to give items because I think we have too much crap. <laughs> Recent provision, tonics, ingredients, materials. Valuables. Uh, okay, apparently I don't have... The, here, you can have the silver Elmoon ring. I can't give it. Oh, donate. You have to hold. We'll give them this. Regular Robin Hood type guys there. Yeah, apparently. You can have one of these. And one of these. There. I'm a nice, benevolent person. I did my thing. Can I shut you off? <laughs> I kind of want to shut it off because I'm afraid I'll get flagged on YouTube, but... Hello. Hello, Dutch. Uh, read. I was a girl until your call. Commanded me to cross the sea. I have nothing left. I gave you all. My darling, lift. Whatever. This is a poem. Arthur. Yeah, I don't care. Put away. So I'm not entirely sure. What's, what's our mission right now? We don't have one. Okay, there's three people offering missions. I see. We should maybe go eat or talk to the cook. Let's at least get the stew first. I don't know if we need food. I don't know if we're hungry. I don't remember it saying we were hungry. Uh, can we not get food? There it is. Take a small bowl. Come on, game. Come on, game. I don't give a damn. You seem like a decent fellow behind it all. Then you ain't a good judge of character. Yeah, well, we'll leave it there and then. I'm trying to punch him. Never mind. <laughs> I was trying to punch him. Okay, I want to take the bowl. And can we please eat? When you grab a bowl of stew, you'll need to wait a few days before and be able to grab another. Uh, okay. Uh, let's eat. Eat. <laughs> we actually have to physically eat. What kind of game is this? <laughs> Life Simulator 1800s. Jeez. Okay, I don't know what you are. We're not going to spend a lot more time. We're going to do a mission here pretty quickly. I'm just trying to figure out what all this crap is. Uh, okay, I think you're the cook. 
I can't uh, seem to do anything there, so I don't know. What do we do here? Donate. Really need you boys to get out there and hunt. Supplies are low. Here you go. Here's some venison meat. Donate for provisions. Don't you overcook this now, Pierce. And here's some fish meat too. And you can have some fat as well to make the food better. And you can have some stringy meat as well. Perfect. I'm not giving them everything. I don't know if there's any reason to or to not. Crafting upgrades. What are those? Satchel. Ooh, okay. Tonic. Purchase leather working tools. So we need leather working tools. Okay, noted. Those we have to go... Okay, oh, you can upgrade my... <gasps> Oh, that's cool! You can upgrade the freaking camp by buying, like, by killing things. I may have to, like, spend 16 hours just hunting everything. Oh my gosh, I, I, I am so ready. This game, 10 of 10. <laughs> Hi, can we do something with you now? No. What is this, maybe? No. Okay, do we talk to... Whoever this is. Oh yeah, that's the donate. All right, let's take a look at where we are and where we need to go. So, this is our map. Valentine's to the north. There is a mission right here. I think we were up here before. This map is freaking gigantic. <laughs> like, look at how long it takes to get back. My gosh. Uh, there is a dude right next to us though with a mission. So I think we're gonna do that one since we're here. Now, it looks like this one's also grayed out, and this looks like a doctor or something like that. So I'm guessing certain one of these you just can't do yet. We did everything else, right? Cruel. Shut up, dude. Oh, no, we're going to you, not J-A-E. Uncle. Bastards. Uncle, where you are? Right by the food. Is this amusing to you? Can I punch him? I wonder if I could shoot a chicken. I probably could. Can I pet the chicken? Nah, dang it. I wanted to pet the chickens. Zero of ten, you can't pet the chickens. There's my horsey, by the way. Oh. Uh, okay. I think we did everything, because that's my house, right? Hey, uncle, wake up. Of course he's sleeping. Ow, oh, oh. <laughs> Careful not to work yourself to death there, uncle. I was thinking... Yeah, does it pay well? Oh, eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you wanna head into town? See if we can find anything out? Oh, sure, I got some errands to run. Great, go check the horses are ready. You gonna take the old man into town? Take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy <laughs> women want you to take them a robin. You're worried about house chores. Let's go. I'm a new man. Fair I enough. care about chores. Come on, man. I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. <laughs> that horse is pooping in Let's the Let's go. Uh, Out through the trees here, then take a left. I have a mini map I can see. I kind of want to just do the game on, like, first person, because it's so cool. Except this is kind of, like, weird when you see the hands. We. Something non-copyrighted, please. Oh God, please, no more singing. Are those telephone bulls? Oh, okay. 
Uh, I guess it makes sense. Telegrams. Oh no! Hi. Is one of you gonna get that fella's horse? Well, I got lumbago. Very serious. All right. All right, we'll get the horse. We good at this. I got really good at this in the last game. Oh hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Can I take this one to go catch him? Damn it. That would have been too easy. Oh, there you are. I was like, where'd he go? All right. Huh. Get him. Yeah. Gotcha, punk. Went near them and press X to calm it. Calm down, horse. Calm down, horse. He's so cool. He's so majestic and furry. Oh, I want this horsey. Don't kick me. Come on. Come on. I want to pet you. I want to pet you. Study. We're going to study. A shire. Dude. Really? Really? Pet. Yeah. Oh, who's a good little horsey? Who's a good horsey? You're a good horsey. Okay, we'll lead you. I'm gonna name you Jeff. You are now my horse. Forget this other guy. You are now named Jeff. Uh, we probably don't have to hold the button. No, we don't. Okay, can we run? You won't let me run with you. Ah. <sighs> we should be doing this in first person, because that's gonna be the realistic. Oh, God. I can't control it in first person. I was trying to turn the camera so I could look at the horse in first person, but uh, game doesn't want that. So at least in third person. Look how majestic I am with the beard. Yes. He has blinders on, doesn't he? He does. Hey, I got your horse. You're not worth this horse, man. Here you go. You're a gentleman, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I nope. was just... Trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. Can I have your horse? Can I shoot him and take the horse? I probably could. <sighs> Doesn't fit our kind-hearted robber, though. You're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps. This game looks so good. And you have your pulse of old lizard. Oh my god, it's a train. <laughs> the guy. You not hadn't been here. I probably would have robbed him. Well, you did. Whoa, the sheep's. What? What is this place? Smell those sheep. What is this game right now? Holy crap! This is so cool. This looks like a decent little town. Other people. Finally, look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss mm. O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. You know, you guys could have walked to town. That would have taken me like five minutes. Oh, oh. Ladies. Sorry. Stop. Stop. Off. Yeah. It won't let me off. I want to pet the dog. <laughs> Dang it, game. Zero of ten. Zero of ten. Worst game ever made. Period. Oh. Dude, I like the single horse cart. That's cool. You see my double double horse cart? Yeah, this is the Cadillac of horse carts. Ooh, bar. Hello. Saloon, rather. Drugs, sheriff. Sure you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. <laughs> Ooh. Young man's game. Guns? Gunsmith. This is like straight up Deadwood. Oh, this is so cool. Will you remember that though, Arthur? Probably not. It's a little small though compared to Deadwood Town, but just the fact that everything's being constructed is really cool. We already saw the church, so what is that? Hmm. I'm gonna knock you over, sir. <laughs> I did warn you. Here we are, 
just I did warn you. <gasps> Doggy! Come back! Doggy! What are we doing? We're gonna do what any self respecting maniac does. Pet the dog. Put the dog. Pet the dog. Doggy! Just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Oh, it's a little beagle hound. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Okay, stop talking to me. So Doggy. How you see yourself, isn't Doggy. It? Nah, yeah. dang it. Well, if, if <sighs> I used to be known as the one shot kid. <laughs> All okay. I want to do is pet the freaking dog, man. I'm not going to ask why. Oh, dang. He's got a four horse cart. Sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. That's what I want. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then rats with the plague. Then you. <laughs> Shut up. It's the place now. Come on. I love how you open the door with his foot. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Ground oh, coffee. Thinking ahead, ain't you? I want coffee. You pick up some coffee while we're here. I just did. List in the catalog here on the counter. Okay, if you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Browse catalog. We oh oh, what did we need? Leather tools, I think it was. Provisions. Camp food. Nah, it wouldn't be provisions. Oh, I should just hit LB to switch. Tonics, ammunition, horse care, clothing. Greatest hair tonic, you don't need to be bald. You don't need to be prematurely gray. Hell yeah. Increase the rate at which hair and facial hair so, grows. You're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. Do not put your dog down. What do you reckon? Aww. Lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Now I know what the smell is. <laughs> well, that's a ripe cheese. Herbivore right. bait? That's cool. Bait. Dude, that's just so cool that there's bait. So, I don't think this has what we need. Potent horse stimulant. Oh, it heals the horses. So you can get a horse stimulant so your horse doesn't die. Probably not a bad idea. <gasps> Hats. $85 for a freaking hat? We have $200. We could afford it. I'm not gonna spend $85. Let's go wait for them outside. Hey, piss off. I'm shopping for clothes right now, dude. Panama hat, stalker hat, military, western hat. <gasps> I don't know. I want them all. Can I try them on? Nice. Nice. Okay, I could literally spend all day right here. Not even joking. Look at the baller cap. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, but I don't look like a baller hat kind of guy. Crusher hat. Yeah, I could do the crusher hat. Warren Gambler's hat. Ooh, yeah, that's kind of me. Kind of fits it. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna worry about any clothes. That's gonna be nice when it gets cold and or warm. Boots. Boots. Oh my gosh, there's two pages of boots. <laughs> what the hell? Hosiery is unmatched. What? Hosiery for guys. Ooh, suspenders. Yeah, that's cool. I have to do all this, like, off camera, I think, because I'm going to spend all day on this. That is so cool, all this stuff. Do we have spurs? I actually don't know if we have spurs. We should have spurs. Uh, just, no, no, no. Exit. There you go. Hold B. Well, thank you, shopkeep. Uh, I would like to sell, though. Because we have a lot of extra crap. Three of five. Let's see. Whatever we've maxed out on, let's go ahead and just sell. I don't know if I'm ever going to use any of this stuff, but, you know, sure. Three of five. He does not accept it. So it's probably only this stuff here that he accepts, right? Okay. Let's get out of here. Thank you, shopkeep. Have a good day.
and uncle's getting oh, drunk. Here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. This time in my career, I pictured myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. <laughs> So we came to town, we let the women go to the saloon, and then we just stayed outside and drunk ourselves to sleep. Are we pimps? I think we might be pimps. I've seen enough Westworld, and I've seen enough Deadwood to know what women do in the saloon. Or what, you know, work they do in the saloon. <laughs> We're pimps! I uh... to this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. There's Usually like three works. houses in this place. Her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. A train full of rich tourists heading to San Dene and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night. Sure. Let's rob another train. Docks in time for the tides. In some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out in there, New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? It seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. I s so, Noon Hanover's in North Carolina, by the way. You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me! Get off him! Get your hands off mm. her, friend. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get off her. The guy who punches harder than you do. Or what exactly? Ooh, are we gonna have a a draw? You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you. Go right away now. with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Yep. Look after her. I am your pimp, so you know. See about Karen in the hotel. Won't be the last time neither. Okay, so we can't go in there. This hotel looks so much better than the RD one. RDR one hotels. Can we talk to him? I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh a friend of his? A friend of hers. I heard that. I am definitely a pimp. <laughs> what? Oh my gosh. Now I well, it depends if I have to do some pimp things. Then there might be trouble. Now, oh, here we go, kicking down the door. Hey, hey you! A friend of hers. Get For pimp. Here, buddy. I paid. They paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here. Ow. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. Jeez, you got your butt kicked, okay. girl. Fine. You sure? Thirty two cents. Nothing nothing to worry about, just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but this is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. Nice. Mirror. So he had thirty two cents on him. Not really worth, you know, beating him up for. Maybe I should have put my mask on before I kicked his butt. Oh well. Can we rob other rooms? No. I hope uh, everything's okay up there. Yeah, he's just gonna be spending the night. Can I talk to him again? Nope. Yeah, everything's fine, sir. Uh, just go. Thank you, Arthur. Don't mind us. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. I could punch Tim a lot harder. Yeah. All right, then. And then I kicked him. Who's that guy over there looking at us? 
Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Gonna have to kill him. Listen, buddy. Come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. This is not my horse. Shit, no. Hey, that's my horse. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say. This is not my horse. All right, so American uh, Standard Breads are racehorses. Ooh. Both black and buckskin coats are found in the wild. A palmino, palmino, daple, and whatever, blah, blah, blah. Their healthy average stamina allows them to maintain a fast pace for a long time. So we studied them. Yes, yes. Uncommon coats ridden. I don't know what that means. Okay. Horses. Come on. Get back here right now. Did he go through here? Surely he went through here. Oh yeah, he went through here. We need to talk, pal. I didn't mean nothing by it. Honest. I can shoot his horse. You stop right here. Do we need to shoot his horse? Oh. Well then, <laughs> how the tides have turned. We're benevolent. Telling lies about me? No, no, I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up, please. I can't. All right, come on. We're being nice. We're being a nice bank robber who kills people constantly. You okay, partner? No. <laughs> no. No, I am not. I just got chased out of town. I fell off a cliff. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. You want to join our gang? Where is that? Jimmy Brooks. I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh, that's very kind of you. Are you a banker? I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never <laughs> saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. <laughs> I, haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. Come on. Come on. Can we take this horse back? Have a, nice day now, sir. a horse is blipped with your temporary horse. Mission complete. Okay. On, can we can we take him back? Uh, mission brief. In search of new leads for the gang, we all visit Valentine. Find Karen within 45 seconds. Oh, we failed it. I guess because we spent so much time downstairs talking to the freaking dude. You can return the horse you stole to gain honor. Uh, well, yeah. Wait, where's Valentine? Yeah, up here. I'm assuming it's the stranger. Or is it this one? Javier. Where are we going with this horse? Bounty hunter? Is it this one? I have no idea. Horse does not have your saddle on it. Your weapons equipment are stored in your saddle. Yeah, I'm aware of this. So wait, let's see. We ran through the stable. 
area. So this area right here, which is now currently closed. Kind of. Uh, somewhere up here. Mission blips are in a large area. We were like over here somewhere. So where do we put the horse? Is it this one right here? Whose horse did I steal? Hello? Whose horse did I freaking steal, man? Butcher, hotel. We were outside the hotel, were we not? There's a show, there's a gunsmith, newspaper seller, bounty hunter, doctor, barber, saloon, general store. Jose, I told you Javier, Bill, and Charles were already in Valentine. No, that's not right either. I don't know where we were. Hi, whose horse did I steal? Oh. There you go. Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Yep. What the hell did I ever do to you? Keep it moving. Hi, horse. You might be my horse now. I can't even ride the horse. I think I got honor for it. I'm thinking I got honor for it. It might be under character, honestly. Player. <laughs> uh. Did I? I don't know. I don't know. I gave him his horse, but then I bumped into him, and apparently that just set him off.